Hello and a very warm welcome to this very special launch video. We're coming to you from the London XL at Digital Construction Week, where in front of me I have something which might appear on first impressions to be a very familiar aircraft. But in actual fact, this is the new DJI Matrice 350 RTK. So during this very quick launch video, we're going to go through some of the most pertinent pe features of this new aircraft. Now I have to refer to notes throughout this because it is literally hot off the press. Today is launch day and we're at an exhibition as well. So there's lots to get through. First up, you'll notice the uh, design is very familiar. Okay, There's been a few physical changes and more software changes to consider. First and foremost, we have the FPV camera on the front. This has been improved. It's now 1080p resolution, which is an enhancement on the previous 960p resolution of the M300. We also have a new mechanism for the arm locks. So during aircraft assembly, when the arm uh, locks go into place, the cuffs are secured during aircraft assembly and functional checks. There is a new mechanism now which also presents you with an on-screen indicator if the aircraft detects one of these is not securely fastened. Much improved on the previous iteration. Physically, we actually have an uh, improvement to the ingress protection, an IP55 rating on this aircraft. So it's an improvement to the uh, dust ingress, so the solid ingress uh, from the previous generation, so IP55. You'll also notice that we have here the RC+. Plus. And this uh, system is obviously inherited from the Matrice 30T. It's now available to use with this, uh, this uh, aircraft. All the functions and features that you've enjoyed with this and the M30T are still very much here. But obviously with the M350 now, we've got the option to use this controller. The good thing about this is it comes with an ingress protection uh, of IP54. So it means that uh, both the aircraft and command unit can operate uh, in forms of precipitation. Referring to my notes again, we also have some improvements to the GNSS and RTK antenna just at the rear of the aircraft, which provide the capability to get even more uh, satellite uh, signal throughout flight, improving positional accuracy as well as when you're using uh, RTK as well. We also have a new and improved uh, O3 transmission system, which previously that was an O2 transmission system of the M300 uh, RTK. This new transmission system provides an extra five kilometers transmission range, so giving you extra, um, uh, extra uh, signal strength during flight. We also have new batteries which go with this. They're the TB65 batteries, two batteries simultaneously, just like before, and there's a new BS65 charging station to go with it as well. Flight time remains fairly consistent with the previous generation. However, they are new batteries which boast a 400 charge life cycle. This is a 100% improvement on the previous TB60s, which only had around 200 charge cycles. So we've got extra, uh, extra life out of the aircraft to prolong your operations. In terms of payload capacity, the payload capacity remains exactly the same. We have both the single and dual downward gimbal option, as well as the third payload option uh, at the top mounted gimbal. So those are just a few little uh, features of this aircraft and how it differs from the previous generation. If you'd like to find out more information, please visit us at heliguy.com. We've got lots of blogs coming out in the not too distant future about this platform and how it compares to the previous. And you can head on over there also if you want to pre-order this, this aircraft too. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.